Corn is one of the most popular foods in the world. Every year, more than a billion tons are harvested. Corn cobs go through a lengthy process to become kernels. But have you ever wondered how 150,000 tons of canned corn are produced each year? It all starts in the field with planting. The harvest of sweet corn begins with careful planning. Farmers choose the right time to harvest corn based on the variety and the weather conditions. Maturity is key. The corn must be ripe enough to be juicy and tender, but not too ripe, as this could result in hard and less flavorful kernels. The corn that is canned is harvested from mid-August to mid-October. Canning is done very quickly. Less than four hours pass between harvesting and canning procedures. Farmers use specialized machinery to harvest sweet corn. A corn harvester machine with blades set at the right height is used to cut the cobs from the plant stems. Corn cobs are carefully cut from the plants. It's important to make this cut cleanly to avoid damaging the kernels and ensure that the cob remains intact. The harvesting capacity is 140 tons per day. The stems are cut just above the ground and then the cobs are removed and shot into a container. Once the container is full, the massive pile is transferred to a truck that goes directly to the factory for processing. Corn cobs are visually inspected to ensure they meet the required quality standards. Damaged, overly ripe, or improperly sized cobs are discarded. These choices are essential to ensure that only the highest quality corn advances in the process. Once the cobs have been harvested and sorted, they are transported to the processing factory. Freshness is essential to maintain the quality of the final product. Factories are often located near the growing areas to reduce transport time and preserve the freshness of the corn. To preserve much of the nutritional value of the product to be sold, the unloading of many trucks of this size will be required for the 150,000 tons of corn that are canned here annually. The process begins with the arrival of fresh corn cobs at the factory. Freshness and corn quality at this point are crucial to obtaining a high-quality final product. Trucks unload mountains of corn at the plant, and then machines push the cobs onto conveyors. Corn cobs undergo visual inspection at this stage. Workers inspect the cobs to ensure they meet established quality standards. After inspection, corn cobs are prepared for the shelling and canning process. This involves removing the outer leaves and cob hairs. Corn cobs are transported to the plant on this conveyor belt. Machines designed to peel and clean the cobs efficiently are used. This unit removes the leaves and hairs surrounding the cob efficiently in a matter of seconds. The cob is completely stripped of its covering. Once cleaned, the cob falls into this chute and moves on to the next step of the process. After corn cobs have been inspected and prepared, the next step is shelling. In this stage, corn kernels are separated from the cobs. They must first pass through a grain eliminator equipped with several counter-rotating cylinders. Specialized shelling machines designed for efficient and uniform kernel separation are used for large-scale production. The kernels are removed from the cobs as they pass through the machine, where blades remove the kernels in a fraction of a second. Each of these units extracts more than a ton of kernels per hour. Twice a day, the machines stop to inspect the blades, clean them, and sharpen them. Corn kernels fall into the center, while the cobs themselves move to the sides. The kernels enter this rotating drum, which removes anything larger than the kernels themselves. Nothing goes to waste in the process. Corn waste, leaves and cobs will be used later as animal feed. Next, the kernels fall into a mixture composed of water and a liquid obtained from cutting the corn kernels. This liquid mixture allows for the transport of the kernels without damaging them. The kernels then flow along this conveyor belt. A million corn kernels move along the conveyors like a river of gold. Once cleaned, the corn kernels undergo another visual inspection. At this stage, damaged, discolored or poor quality kernels are discarded. Selection is crucial to ensure that only the highest quality kernels proceed to the next step of the process. After shelling, cleaning and sorting the corn kernels, the next step is blanching. Blanching involves immersing the corn kernels in boiling water for a short period. The primary goal of blanching is to inactivate the natural enzymes present in the corn. These enzymes could cause degradation of color, flavor and texture in the corn over time, especially during storage. Blanching is carried out in this enormous cylinder. A continuous screw conveys the blanched kernels to the surface. Visual inspection verifies the quality of the kernels. 
The blanching process usually lasts about four to five minutes. During this time, the corn kernels are immersed in boiling water, which helps stop the action of enzymes and fix the color and texture. Precise control of blanching time and temperature is important to prevent overcooking of the corn kernels. After blanching, the corn kernels are immediately removed from the boiling water and immersed in cold water. This rapid cooling process stops cooking and helps maintain the freshness and texture of the corn. Cooling also helps preserve the natural color and prevents overcooking. After the corn kernels have been blanched and cooled, the next step is canning them. This process involves placing the corn kernels in previously prepared and sterilized cans. A thousand cans of various sizes are taken to the filling department. Filling the cans is done with this rotary filling machine. This filling machine can handle from 300 to 450 cans per minute. Kernels that fall to the side are collected later in this cylinder and returned to the filling line. Corn kernels are introduced into the cans, filling them to a predetermined level. It's important to leave adequate space at the top of the cans, known as headspace, to allow for liquid expansion and kernel expansion during thermal processing and storage. After filling the cans with corn kernels and covering them with the covering liquid, which typically consists of water, salt and sugar, several purposes are served. It helps preserve the freshness and quality of the corn, enhances the flavor and provides a solution that ensures that the corn kernels are completely submerged and covered. Once the cans are filled with corn kernels and the covering liquid, they are tightly sealed. This is typically done using automatic machines that apply heat and pressure to the can lids. The lids are securely placed on the containers, but canning is not yet complete, as some very important tests must be conducted. Tests are conducted in this laboratory to ensure product quality. Airtight sealing is crucial to prevent the entry of bacteria and ensure the safety and quality of canned products. The cans are placed in a sealing machine that applies pressure and heat to the lids. The heat ensures an airtight seal. The pressure exerted by the machine compresses the seal around the edge of the can, creating an effective barrier against the entry of air, moisture and microorganisms. Once sealed and tested, the cans are ready to undergo the sterilization process. This step is crucial to ensure food safety as it eliminates harmful microorganisms and helps preserve canned corn for the long term. Sealed cans are placed in autoclaves, which are designed to apply heat and pressure. The doors are sealed tightly and the thermal processing process begins. Sterilization is carried out in this oven at 250 degrees Celsius and lasts between 4 and 6 minutes. The applied heat destroys pathogenic microorganisms and enzymes that could affect the quality and safety of the product. This sterilizes the can, so it will keep the corn fresh for years. Once the sterilization process is complete, the cans are removed from the autoclaves and gradually cooled. Cooling is a critical step to prevent overcooking of the corn and ensure that the cans are not damaged due to abrupt temperature changes. Cans of sweet corn at this stage are ready to be labeled. Labels contain important information such as the production date, expiration date, ingredients, nutritional value and batch code. Once labeled, the cans are packed in boxes. Canned corn boxes are ready to be stored in facilities with controlled temperature and humidity conditions. From there, they are distributed to stores and supermarkets. If you want to know how silk is made, watch the video on your screen. And please like the video if you enjoyed it and share it with someone who might be interested. Also, subscribe to this channel by activating the notifications to continue learning. Thanks for watching.